Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Energies for your person, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. Between you and your person, we have the King of Cups, Meeting Energies, the Page of Pentacles, the Magician and the Nine of Swords, the Oracle Cards, Here and Now and Co-Create. So guys, it seems that some of you have started to see a person of interest kind of recently, I want to say. This one seems to be a fairly young connection. There was a genuine curiosity in favor of this connection, but now it seems that you can be a little bit hesitant. Seven of Pentacles, which is a mirror effect if we consider the Wheel of Fortune on your person's side. And the Seven of Cups can be about questions and doubts. It seems that you are thinking about this connection in order to figure out if you and your person of interest can truly be on the same page in order to build a reliable partnership, especially in the long run. The Ten of Cups that your person got is interesting because it can be about two things, either an interest that your person can have in favor of the opportunity to manifest a romantic connection that can stand the test of time, but it's like they want it now, here and now, and so they can try to force the process and you may not like that entirely, at least. Or, for others, a progression towards even the opportunity to build a family that this person doesn't really want to pursue at the moment because they can kind of freak out about the responsibilities that can come with that type of arrangement. And the Nine of Swords kicks in. So the Page of Pentacles, guys, can be the opportunity for you, I want to say, to do your homework about this connection, because before you take complete action, the magician, with this person, you will have to figure out if this situation can truly be the one that you want. King of Cups energy, emotional maturity, we can say that. It can be true for the two of you, but feelings and emotions for me can be kept consciously under the surface of the water. And so it seems that we are not there yet to the moment in which two people can say, I love you in favor of each other, you know, in order to build a real partnership. So let's pull more cards. This one seems to be a situation that works like, should I or should I not? Do I really want this or not? Is this the person for me or not? Let's see what we can get. Two of Wands. Soulful decision for the Seven of Pentacles. Tricky Five of Swords energy for the Seven of Cups. King of Swords for the Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Wands for the Ten of Cups. Knight of Wands for the Page of Pentacles. Four of Wands for the Magician. Six of Wands for the Nine of Swords. Guys, I think that the Seven of Wands can be a resistance and pair it up with the Ten of Cups. It means that the scenario that becomes more prominent is the one of a person of interest that doesn't really want to go down the Ten of Cups road if we think about a family. And some of you can be turned off because of that. So I would cast aside the scenario about your person of interest kind of interested in the opportunity to build a family right now when maybe you can be more hesitant the knight of wands can describe the fact that the two of you got the chance to take some steps forward together when it comes to this connection so it seems that the two of you slept together but the perception that some of you got was not exactly pleasant guys five of swords the figure in green and red for me is the bearer of the three of swords there is ego in the energy. This person can be a good talker, King of Swords, 
they can make clear to you that they love the opportunity to share some time in your company. And they can also say that they enjoy those moments with you. But seven of ones when it comes to the 10 of cups and you will have to make a decision because it seems that you can question the opportunity to find your victory, six of ones in the pursuit of the four of ones and the knight of ones mentality of your person of interest can be a catalyst that can prevent you guys from the opportunity to take action at the 100% following the magician with your person of interest. And so the outcome that can become the most likely one is related to the opportunity to leave the battlefield behind because you can become like the people that we see in the background in the Five of Swords. So some of you may have the chance to hand over the word that we see in the Two of Wands to your person of interest because if you want to build for the future, now it seems that we are talking about a person of interest that doesn't really want to do that. What should you focus on in a situation like this one? Six of Pentacles, one man up, one man down dynamic. Page of Swords, the Emperor, Nine of Cups, King of Wands. This is all about passion and control, guys. Some of you are dealing with a person of interest that can be a controlling type of lover, let's say. They want the connection on their terms. They can be shallow and superficial if we think about the opportunity to make some plans for the future. They want the fun. They are not really interested in the effort. So there is a woman up, woman down dynamic that your person of interest is controlling. You are on the losing side of this arrangement. So you will have to make a decision because yes, the two of you maybe have gotten along extremely well if we think about some intimate moments together, but we know that intimacy is a bigger concept, you know, and it seems that the emotional side of this connection is falling short big time. And you are at a crossroads here and now between past and future, if we think about this connection, the two of ones is the energy that you will have to manifest. But it seems that amazing sex is not enough to keep this connection alive because some of you may have a different vision, the four of ones. What's the obstacle? The seven of ones together with the 10 of cups. This person may want a different type of connection. It's like they want it casual, almost. Queen of Swords, much for the King. The Sun, what can make you happy? Four of Swords, chance to sleep together, guys. Not sure about that opportunity moving forward. Ten of Wands, the last mile of a challenging cycle. And the King of Cups, recurrent energy. Keeping feelings and emotions under the surface of the water. Why? Because... Some of you in particular can manifest the Queen of Swords energy in a way that can offer you the chance to speak your truth and let your person of interest know that your inner happiness cannot be amplified in a casual or fleeting connection if you get the realization that a long-term commitment is not available. You get it? That's why you can be disappointed with the overall arrangement that this person can offer to you. They like it. They like you guys. Absolutely. But they want the connection kind of in an easy way. I almost want to say in a cheap one. I hope that you can get my point. And this doesn't sit well with you, it seems because you can perceive the Five of Swords energy as a catalyst for the woman up, woman down dynamic. And I want to repeat myself, you are on the losing side of the agreement. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. King of Swords, 
recurrent energy, ace of cups, and the knight of cups. You have to think about the opportunity to be romantically involved with this person. But guys, the ace of cups is a gift from the heart. We have to start from the ace in order to get to the ten of cups. Maybe you thought that there was a chance to share love with this person. The seven of wands is the deal breaker because the ten of cups is prevented. And so you may have to reevaluate your options, let's say, when it comes to this connection. I want to say that some of you can realize that this person is not commitment material. You can let them know that you are losing interest in the connection because you do not see the opportunity to develop and grow together with this person like you desire. And so that's why you can make the decision to put a closing point on the situation. Your person of interest is not going to like that. They can try to complicate the opportunity for you to leave them. So the seven of wands can even become a resistance about that. But guys, the connection, even if it is a young one, has already begun the last mile. You can keep your feelings and emotions under control and the Knight of Cups can become the chance to manifest the Cranberries song, promises. She's going to leave him over, she's going to take her love away. If that's true, it means that you can become the people in the background in the Five of Swords. And the one that can be left behind is basically the King of Swords. So the two of you can be smart people, but your person of interest can be disappointed by the fact that you can decide to end this connection because there can be a moment of clarity, I want to say, and a moment of truth as well, that can set you free from an arrangement that can be a small one, guys. This can be about amazing sex, but nothing more. And so a grown-up person has to make a choice. Basically, you know what you can get in a connection with this person. If you are cool with it, all right. If you are not cool because you want more, you will have to make a choice, and the choice may not be in favor of this individual. So it seems that they will not get the chance to keep having fun with you kind of no strings attached because I am not confident in saying that you have signed up for that type of arrangement. And so you may have the opportunity to move in a different direction. And this can even be a blessing in disguise, allow me to say. My friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best, take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.